Yo, thank you, Senator Casey. Thank you, Senator Cassidy. And again, thanks to all of our panel uh, for being here, and especially Ms. Williams. Thank you to you for coming. Uh, you're uh, absolutely the most courageous person I'll meet today to come and share your story. You may be the most courageous person I'll meet all week and all month. And I got a question for you in a second. My first question is going to be for Dr. Weiss and Dr. Hoover. Uh, prior authorization, access to care has been a, a bigger issue. It's the number one physician administrative concern in America. As an obstetrician, I saw the issue delay care for infertility patients, for high-risk patients. My friends in orthopedic surgery tell me that uh, it's getting harder and harder to get the joint replaced, and maybe the the process delays it three or four months' time. And meanwhile, we get the patient addicted to to narcotics. So I'm just curious, in, in your clinical experience, uh, when it comes to mental health issues, are you seeing any challenges in the prior authorization realm? Dr. Weiss, why don't you go first? Um, it is mind-numbing. Um, mind-numbing? Yes. Um, you know, our clinic bills for services, and we also, you know, have some you know, money that subsidizes what's not covered. Um, but even the services that are covered, and I deal with a lot of um, antipsychotic medication, long-acting antipsychotic injectables that are not preferred on formulary, but that are the best medications of certain classes of medications that are more appropriate for young patients versus the older ones for many, many reasons, like less side effects. Um, and it will take um, weeks sometimes. Um, getting prior authorization for community-based mental health services um, can sometimes take weeks, and then every three months they want you to repeat the authorization. In Louisiana, Medicaid um, has been privatized, so there are five companies that provide Medicaid services, each requiring a different type of pre-authorization or prior authorization for services. Um, so this is the job of two or three people, we have a census of about 170. Um, so it's, it, it's hard to finance that, because I am you know, aware that businesses need to be financed in a fiscally responsible manner, but the amount of administrative support you need to get these things done is astronomical. Yeah, Do Dr. Hoover, would you, anything to add? The only thing I would add is I, I certainly agree with everything you said, and yet, of course, we need some authorization in place, especially for our most vulnerable youth who may, for example, experience polypharmacy. You know, young people in uh, the foster care system, for example, we know may be on multiple medications. There needs to be some authorization and, and process for understanding the medications that they have been prescribed um, so that it's done responsibly. But the wait times uh, for getting into mental health healthcare, um, as you said, mind-numbing, astronomical, and for families can be really impossible to navigate. You know, my experience is what was most frustrating is after my nurses had spent days and days in the back and forth with faxes, not emails or, or on, online, but faxes, eventually I get to talk to a person. And maybe it was a neurologist trying to explain to me why we shouldn't be using progesterone for preterm. Do you, do you ever have that same frustration? I wouldn't begin to want to, I, to tell you the drugs you should be using. Yeah, I left inpatient work um, specifically because of this. Uh, I would be told that someone didn't qualify for inpatient psychiatric hospitalization because they weren't actively trying to kill themselves or someone else. And I'd say, so what about like hearing the demon coming to get you? Then you can't even yeah. get out of your bed or go to your house or eat food. You don't, you don't qualify for inpatient yeah. services. And I just... I just want to reassure yeah. you that we do have legislation that, that we could get across the finish line that would impact Medicare, this mm -hmm. prior authorization issue. Yeah. And then we'll go after CHIP and Medicaid and some of those others.